In this series, I'm going to show you how to create a real-time chat app using Quasar Framework, Vue.js, Vuex, and Firebase. I'm going to be running through this quite quickly, so if you get stuck, check out my playlist on the basics of Quasar at dannys.link slash quasarbasics. So this is the app we're going to be making. It's called Smart Chat. We're going to get this working for the web as a desktop app and as a mobile app. So this app has three different pages. First of all, we have the users page, which lists all the users that are on the platform. It also tells us whether the user is offline or online. So on this one, I'm logged in as Danny, and this one I'm logged in as Jim. So if I log Danny out and we look over here, you can see Danny's status changes to offline. And if Danny logs back in, we can see he's online again. And then we have the chat page. So if we click on a user, we can have a conversation together. So Danny's gonna to say to Jim, hey Jim, why are you such a ball bag? We can see that message pop up on here. And Jim's gonna say, no, you're the ball bag. And Danny says, I think you'll find that you are. So you can see all the messages are received in real time on all the different devices. Uh, we also have a authentication page if we log out. So on here we can register a new user with a name, email and password, or we can just log in an existing user. So let's get started with this. So if you don't have Quasar installed, you can jump over to Quasar dot dev click on install and I'll tell you how to install that here you do need to have node installed as well but assuming that's all installed let's create a new project with the quasar create command so I'm going to jump to the terminal I'm going to close this dev process go into my project folder and run quasar create then the name of my project I'm going to call it Snapchat. I'm going to choose yes to that because I already have a folder for this. Project name, I'll leave that as it is. Product name, I'm going to call it Snapchat. I'm going to leave the description, leave the author. I'm going to disable the yes lint and enable Vuex. I'm going to set my code over ID to com.dannyconnell.smatchat. And I'm going to use npm to install it. Okay, that's installed now. It tells us how to get started. Just CD into the folder and then run Quasar Dev. So CD Snapchat Quasar Dev. Okay, that's now running in the browser. Now I'm just going to open up this folder that it's created in my editor. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up quasar.conf.js, our config file. And under framework, I'm going to enable this option here, all true. This means that all the components, directives, and plugins will be available to us. Now you wouldn't want to do this in a production app. But I'm just going to do this in the interest of speed so that I don't keep having to add components, directives, and plugins every time I use them. Okay, so I'm going to save that. Now I'm just going to customize the theme a little bit. So I'm going to go to source, CSS, quasar.variables.style. And I'm going to replace the primary color here with this nice green color. Save that. Okay, that looks a bit more like a chat app now with that green. Now I'm just gonna customize the layout a little bit. So I'm gonna to go to layouts and open mylayout.view. And I'm gonna get rid of this draw because we're not gonna need that for this app. And I'll get rid of the button for the drawer as well. So first of all, I'll get rid of this menu button. Then I'm gonna get rid of all of this queue draw. Save that. And I'm going to get rid of this Quasar V105 div here. And I'm going to change the title in the toolbar to Snapchat. And I'm going to position this title in the center by adding a class of absolute center. This is a class that's built into Quasar. You can find all of these classes if you go to the Quasar docs page and then style and identity and then positioning. Okay, so this is looking pretty good now. So let's set up some pages and routes for our app. 
So we're going to need three pages. We're going to need the users page, the chat page, and an auth page. Okay, so this default page, which just has this image on it, this can be found in pages and then index.view. So I'm going to make this page the users page. So I'm just going to remove this image that's on the page. I'm going to remove this flex center class because I don't want everything centered. And I'm just going to stick a H5 in here, which says users page. And for some reason, the style block is in the middle and should be at the bottom. So I'm going to move that down. And I'm going to get rid of this name property here because we don't need that. Save that. Now I'm going to give this page a more meaningful file name. So I'm going to rename it to page users. And this will break the app because if we go to our roots file in the router folder, this path, this root path is pointing to index.view. So we need to change that to page users. Save that. And I'm going to duplicate this page users page and create a page chat page where I'll set the H5 to chat page. And I'll duplicate that again and create a page off page. And I'll set the text in this H5 to off page. Okay, so let's jump back to the roots file in the router folder. And I'll duplicate this root to the users page twice. And we'll set up a root for the chat page at the path slash chat. And this will be pointing to page chat dot view. And I'll set up a root for the auth page at the path slash auth. And this will be pointing to page auth. Save that. Okay, so let's see if we can get to these pages. So if I just put slash chat in the browser, we're now on the chat page. And if I go to slash auth, then we're on the auth page. Now it'd be good if we could update this title according to the page that we're on. So I'm going to jump to the mylayout.view file in the layouts folder. And instead of just spitting out smack chat there, I'm going to add a computed property called title. And Oh, I don't need this data property anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'll get rid of that name property as well. And I'll create a computed object. And I'll add this title, computed property. And we can set this title based on the current path that we're on. And we can get this path from the dollar root variable, like this, this dot dollar root. So I'm just going to log this out. Save that. And I'll open up the console, clear the console, and I'll reload. Okay, we can see this root variable being spit out. And within this object, we have a full path property, which gives us the current path that the user's on. So we can use this to determine what our title should be. So I'm going to stick that in a variable first. So I'll call that current path. And set that to this dot dollar root dot full path. And then we can do if current path is equal to slash, so the root of the app, then we can return smack chat. Else if current path is equal to slash chat, return chat. Else if current path is equal to slash off, then we'll return login. Save that. Okay, we can now see login at the top when we're on the off page. Let's check the other two pages. So if I go to slash chat, yeah, it now says chat at the top. And if we go to the root, the users page, it now says smack chat at the top. Okay, thanks for watching. In the next video, we're going to design our users page. Make sure you click my head to subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment. And if you want to grab the source code for this app, go to dannys.link slash code. And if you want to learn all of the basics of Quasar Framework, Vue.js, Vuex, and Firebase, 
and check out my full course at dannys.link slash quasar.